feeling right, so why not eat some ice cream? What do you guys say? Who is in the house tonight? Who is at home 6 p.m. on a Friday night waiting to watch me eat ice cream? Don't be afraid. You can admit it. It's okay. Oh, wow. Zero watching now. This is like a record. Maybe there's a delay, but I, I doubt it. It is a Friday night. So if uh, it's really, you know, shitting on the social aspect of the ice cream social, but these things happen. Uh, let me close this door. Well, regardless of whether I have, I don't know which uh, camera to look at. I think I'm going to look at the webcam. The webcam. It says zero or watching. Fucking YouTube. All right. Hello, Jessica. First time live watcher. Karina, Megan, uh, Maria, Lindsay. Hello, you guys or girls, I should say. There's no dudes yet. There we go. We got eight people. I will take it because uh, the show must go on. No matter how many people I have watching, uh, and I'm losing YouTube subscribers by the day, so who gives a shit? I'm here to eat ice cream and talk about it. Preston, hello. Uh, we are going to talk about pumpkin ice creams tonight, do kind of a, a wrap-up of the season uh, of 2016. 2016's pumpkin ice creams weren't much different than 2017's. There were some, some standouts, uh, but for the most part, everything pretty much stayed the same. I'll get to that. Let's talk about this ice cream tonight. Hello, Kristen, Shayna, Ellen. Hello, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's talk about this ice cream. This is spiced goat cheese and pumpkin pie from Salt and Straw. Now, I had, Casey and Catherine, hello. I had this ice cream last year. I was not very impressed by it. Uh, I cannot, for the life of me, I didn't go back and watch my review, but I feel like it was in like the seven range, maybe even a six, which is, very uncommon for salt and straw, especially I, I think maybe I expected a lot more because it was a pumpkin ice cream from salt and straw and I'd waited so long for their version of pumpkin pie and uh, it kind of let me down. Plus, I love goat cheese and I really expect it to be like a pumpkin cheesecake type flavor and it let me down. Now, it might have been a bad pint. Uh, maybe my taste buds have evolved. Maybe, you know, maybe it's just going to be the same flavor. We do not know. So, that's why uh, I'm going to rescoop it and tell you guys what I think. Oh, damn. Wayne is in the house. Hello. Hello, Wayne. We are graced with your presence. It's a, good, it's a great night on a Friday night at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. Double camera action. I am moist. Don't, don't start getting moist yet. Wait until you see how much trouble I have with this fucking Logitech focusing on my, uh, my ice cream. It does real good focusing on my ugly ass face, but it cannot get the spoon shots the way I want them to. Travis, hello. You are fat and pathetic. You are my main demographic, so welcome. Here we go. So like I said, I had this shit last year. Wasn't a, a huge fan of it. But, oh, good start. So it's a, it's basically, see what I mean, Wayne? There we go. It's a spiced, spiced goat cheese base with uh, basically pumpkin pie filling mixed in or vice versa. It might just be pumpkin pie filling with the ice cream mixed in. At any rate, I think one of the main reasons I was disappointed last year <laughs> was because there was no pie crust. It's just pie filling. I really expected pie crust. Uh, versus Khan, what is up? Omicron, aka Wayne says, plus goat cheese and ice cream, super gross. I find that very ironic coming from the guy who loved the bean burrito ice cream from Salt and Straw. <laughs> like, what? You don't like goat cheese? Sorry, Will. Hello, Will. I want all the viewers at home to know what's up. And to be honest, uh, I really expected a richer base having, without implementing goat cheese, I thought shit was going to be like cheesecake. You know? While I eat this, uh, ah, Wayne says it wasn't goat cheese and I love goat cheese. It just makes ice cream bitter for some reason. At least there's this one isn't that bitter. Uh, I'd say it's right on par with with uh, Jenny's goat cheese. 
I mean, it's definitely not super sweet, but also you gotta understand that Jenny's has a goat cheese and red cherry flavor. The red cherries, the sweetness of that really, really makes the, the ice cream taste sweeter. And uh, in this case, the pumpkin pie filling is not a, pumpkin pie filling just isn't sweet. It's not sweet. Pumpkin pie itself isn't a very sweet dessert. That's why you need ice cream with it. Uh, so while I eat, while I dig in this and I, and I talk with my mouth full, I want you guys to tell me what has been your favorite pumpkin ice cream of 2016. Doesn't have to be a new one. Just tell me what your favorite was. And I will I just show you guys what I'm talking about. See the little, the pumpkin pie filling is kind of swirled in there. Oh, we got 30 people in here now. I'm a fucking superstar. Yeah. Will says Turkey Hill again. Yes. Andrew Carswell, Turkey Hill, pumpkin pie right now. And it's for sure my fave. Megan, Turkey Hill, Melissa, Turkey Hill, Adam Smith, Talenti's was legit. A Hunt, A E Hunt, Turkey Hill, Preston with Talenti. Oh, there's a little contrary opinion. Shayna, Turkey Hill, pumpkin pie, Casey and Catherine, Turkey Hill. So it's pretty much unanimous. You guys are in line with my thought. Turkey Hill pumpkin pie, two time, two time, two time, pumpkin pie, basic bitch, queen, Yas champion, Yas queen, champion, Turkey Hill, all day. Now, Talenti, Talenti is really good, um, but it's just hard to compare to, to, to uh, Turkey Hill. Now, somebody, uh, Megan mentioned, Little G's. Little G's is good, but it's just, it's, it's, it's a pumpkin bread flavor, not really a pumpkin pie flavor, but it's still good. It's just not a, uh, a classic flavor. She's got better flavors. Uh, Joseph says, Turkey Hill, but I really like the flavor of Edie's Slow Churn. Brings up a good point. Edie's Slow Churn pumpkin is a really, really good ice cream, especially for the calories. What is it, like 90 calories per serving? Why do people even why do people even eat fucking Arctic Zero or Halo Top? Boom. See what I mean? It's pretty plain. Goat cheese ice cream and uh pumpkin filling. You know the swirl in Turkey Hill is basically what sets it apart. Without that, you have basic pumpkin ice cream. That's all you need though sometimes. That one element. I'm a crumb with the uh, my pumpkin pie bread pudding from Grill Em All. Throwing that in my face. I still can't believe we went to LA and didn't go to fucking Grill Em All. We'll be back. For sure. Especially the wrestling theme. Like, they named burgers after guys I used to wrestle with. How could I not go there? I'm a fucking idiot. Preston asked, was the pumpkin pie concrete from Freddy's better than any ice cream I tried? No, it was really good. I would say it was probably the second best pumpkin ice cream thing I had. I'd put it above Talenti's, but not as good as Turkey Hills. Anyone else a diehard Gilmore Girls fan and super disappointed in the Ample Hills flavor they came up with? I do not. I never watched an episode of the Gilmore Girls, although I am interested in the flavor only because the base is so unique. Um... We'll see if I, I might order it, I might not, I don't know. I'm not super pumped about it, but I'm also interested at the same time. <laughs> Nicholas says, hey, uh, he just joined us and he just bought turkey whole pumpkin pie. Better get it while it lasts, man. Before you know it, all you'll be able to find is eggnog. Is Gilmore Girls coming back or what? I don't know what the big deal is. You see more of that uh, filling here. Did they like re-release the original Nintendo or something? It's a mini Nintendo. Um, it's a mini Nintendo with thirty preloaded games. So they didn't put Duck Hunt though. You gotta you have to have to have the light gun to play Duck Hunt. Yeah, but what's yeah, the I know point? what's the fucking point. Personally. As a lifelong gamer, I have no interest in playing Nintendo games again. Now, 
you give me the same thing in a Super Nintendo or a Genesis with like 30 games, I'm so in on Super Nintendo. Uh, Ample Hills actually brings up a good point. I'm a little disappointed with their flavors lately. I know I gave No Sleep Till Pumpkin uh, I'm eight. But I gotta say, I was disappointed with it. Pumpkin gooey butter cake, I think I should have been blown away. And I was not. It's just, uh, it's just like I expect, I expect better. <laughs> Wayne says, my sensitive teeth are so jealous. Yeah, I can eat ice cream. It's weird. I have like one sensitive tooth. I have like a, a filling in one of them, but Brooke says that was my favorite, but I love espresso ice cream. I like coffee ice cream too, but the gooey butter cake didn't taste anything like pumpkin or I think the coffee ice cream overpowered it. I just want, I wanted a pumpkin ice cream from Ample Hills. And to me, that just fell short. I was really disappointed. Okay, I was doing my post-dinner Insta scroll and saw Quest new cereal bars. Can you please review them because I'm skeptical? Jessica Leone asks. No, there is an embargo on Quest reviews, and this is why. If you guys are new to my channel, Quest uses soluble corn fiber. Soluble corn fiber, even in small doses, makes my asshole explode. It gives me violent diarrhea. So I will not be reviewing any Quest products until they change their formula back to the old formula. So until then, fuck you, Quest. Uh, how's chocolate peanut butter moose tracks, Nicholas asks. Oh, I love it. Moose Tracks is always good. I'm easy to please when it comes to that. After I finish my next order of Little G's, what company and flavor should be my first go-to, Preston asks. Well, last year's Christmas salt and straw flavors are pretty fun. We ought to see uh, what's going on. Ooh, getting into more of the pumpkin pie filling, which is really the best part of this ice cream, personally. I wish it was more pumpkin. But it's mostly goat cheese. So... Uh, salt and straw should be fun, but I re I've been talking to Grace from Little G's. I would keep your eyes peeled for the December flavors of Little G's because if she does what she's planning on doing, you will be interested in those just as much, if not more, than the fall flavors. Uh... Nicholas says Christmas or Thanksgiving. Christmas. Christmas is the best holiday. And I'm a godless heathen, so. Look at this. It's got nothing to do with religion. I just like the whole atmosphere, the family stuff, the food, the movies, the music, the decorations, the presents, pretty much all of it. And Santa. Santa's not real. Santa's not real. 44 days until Christmas. I know that. You know why? Because they go to Walmart every day on the way into my gym. <laughs> every day. You guys wonder how I find stuff so quickly. Walmart is literally on the way to my gym, so I stop there every day, and I find something new almost every day. Target, actually, is right down the street from our gym, too. So, And yet, I still have not found those eggnog or candy cane cake rolls from uh, Little Debbie. That bitch. See, this ice cream so far is pretty much how I remembered it. It's okay. It's not great. It's, uh, like I said, I want more pump focus, you motherfucker. Fo bitch. There we go. It just needs more pumpkin. So, Jessica says, favorite Christmas movie, go. The answer to that question is Die Hard. And yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. If you want to argue with me, you can. Gremlins, also another Christmas movie. Home Alone's in my top five. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And, uh, hmm, I have to think. What? Elf. Elf's up there. Ooh, Travis said Christmas over Thanksgiving, cookies beat pies. I, even though I prefer Christmas, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I'm a pie man. If I gotta choose pie or cookies, I'm going pie. Why? Pecan and pumpkin. That's it. 
The Christmas Story is my favorite, Nicholas said. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh. Does Just Friends count as a as a Christmas movie? I think it does. Because it, it, by my standards, if it's set during Christmas, any part, then or like a, a good part of it, then it, it counts. I don't even know what movie that is. That's the movie with, uh, maybe I'm not remembering the name of it right, with Ryan Reynolds where he comes home, he used to be fat, where he's singing I Swear in the mirror, you know what I'm talking about? Oh. Isn't that Just Friends? What's no. the name of that? That's not the name of it? Guys, what's the name of that movie? With Ryan Reynolds. And he comes back home, and he used to be fat. It's his friend, I don't know. Oh, fuck me. See, guys, I've learned. I put my... I put my pint down there. This is actually one of the better scoops. <laughs> yeah, it's just friends. Once again, I own Kelsey in, in movie trivia. That's a really good movie. It reminds me a lot of when I came back to Sarasota, uh, my hometown, even though I was not nearly as successful as Ryan Reynolds' character at the time. <laughs> Technically, Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. Well... That's not going to be anywhere near my top 10 because Iron Man 3 fucking sucks. One of the worst Marvel movies ever. And yeah, Marvel makes bad movies. Even though I'm a Marvel fanboy, I can admit that. Pecan or apple if I'm going pie. What about apple pecan? That's what I'm talking about. Wayne, what feels bad? Damn. There's like straight. Once I get to, I'm gonna show you guys. There's like pumpkin pie filling here in the bottom. Which, like, see what? I, oh shit! You guys see that? Like the bottom is almost entirely pumpkin things. Wow, Wayne. See, this is what I, this is my Facebook post. You hate Marvel movies and The Dark Knight Rises, which, uh, wait, Dark Knight Rises is the third one. Yeah, that one sucks. Dark Knight Returns, I love. Wait, The Dark Knight. What is the second Batman movie? It's my favorite <laughs> movie. I, I have fucking Alzheimer's. <laughs> the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Wait, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises, right? I like Marvel movies, Wayne, you shithead. He said, I'm talking about you, Slappy. Just because I'm critical and I have high standards doesn't mean, you know... I mean, Marvel makes... Marvel's made some bad movies. First Captain America, Iron Man 3, uh, Thor 2, or first Thor's, whatever, you know. Yeah, it's The Dark Knight. I always want to say The Dark Knight Returns. See, now, if we were talking, if this is what I was getting more of, like, if it was like, why couldn't they do pumpkin pie ice cream with uh, goat cheese swirl? That would have been better. Um, Look at this panel of douche. I would fight all four of those guys. <laughs> oh, my God. This is it. It's lit. Guys, It's lit. It's lit. It's so lit right now. Oh, wow. This is like the best part. The bottom. Oh. That's it. Man. I want more of that. But I'm a basic bitch and I love pumpkin, so. Wrapping this one up. Same shit. Different year. Uh, I remember why. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Just what I touched on. Not enough pumpkin flavor, uh, for me anyways, not enough for that pumpkin filling, uh, too much goat cheese, and goat cheese is pretty bland, despite saying, despite being labeled as spiced goat cheese, not a lot of flavor there, but uh, it, it's not a terrible ice cream, but as far as salt and straw standards go, I'm, it's not uh, one of their better ones. Um, you know what, it hurts me to do this. But I might have to give it a 6 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be a little soft on it. I, I really need to start doing half ratings. Because I think that 
Like if this was if I gave half ratings, this would be a six and a half. But I'll give I'll round it up to a seven, just because it finished strong. Um, because like I've given sixes to way worse stuff than that. So Thor two sucks dick, and so does the Incredible Hulk. I will not argue there. Uh, uh, the Incredible Hulk was a very bad movie. Chocolate pecan pie or regular pecan pie? Regular pecan pie. Jessica says, I feel like after the little G pecan pie ice cream, you're hating this. I wouldn't say I'm hating it, but it is definitely a come down. When you go from eating one of your, it's like, like salt and straw, right? Everything is compared to Cenotopia. Cenotopia is just, Cenotopia is just Less. amazing. Um, I thought about the pecan pie ice cream, little G's, and I thought about Cenotopia. Cenotopia is better. Cenotopia is probably, honestly, the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. That seems like hyperbole, but it's, I've eaten a lot of ice cream, and I probably I I gotta rescoop it. I, they have to bring it back. I gotta I gotta for science. I have to eat more of it. And if you've had it, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, you know, Buckeye Blitz, Candy Bar Pie. All the those from Ben and Jerry's, those are all time classics for me. But I mean, it was a euphoric experience. I was, I think I got high. I think I got a, a sick buzz from eating Cenotopia. Kelsey can confirm she she was there. So Travis says all ice creams look like shit compared to Little G's. Yeah, Little G has a knack for making her ice creams uh, appear as. Uh, appear to taste as well as they actually do. That was a horrible sentence I just constructed. But my point is, <laughs> my point is, they look, they look good and they Damn, taste good. Damn, you smart. I'm dumb as shit. What am I? That's why I'm on YouTube. Favorite ice cream you can't get in your state? Turkey Hill pumpkin pie, dog. That's it. Actually, I take that back. It's not entirely true. Um, if Van Leeuwen was here, uh, if I could get it here, that would be awesome, or Oddfellows, uh, probably Oddfellows, Oddfellows, Van Leeuwen, um, and Turkey Hill's full catalog of flavors way below. So, you know, it, all, all good ice cream costs money. I mean, sure, I wish it could all be Turkey Hill, but for the most part, everybody ships these days. I don't know why mm -hmm. Van Leeuwen and Oddfellows haven't gotten on board yet, unfortunately. But I'm super geeked about, uh, about Little G and about how she's uh, bringing the heat. Is everything... But is everything but the from Ben and Jerry's waste of time or not? I would not say it's a waste of time. It's actually a guilty pleasure of mine. It's a flavor. It's probably like out of the the three flavors that I that I eat have eaten the most from Ben and Jerry's: cookie dough, peanut butter cup, and that one. Uh, so you're gonna have you're gonna have fun with it. It's not a game changer or anything. It's just basically a bunch of mix mix ins, uh, as most Ben and Jerry's ice creams are. Like Nicholas just said, it's a decent flavor if you're a mix-in whore. Exactly. If you don't give a shit about the base ice cream, you just want mix-ins. That's who they made it for. We were all basic. Everybody starts as an ice cream basic bitch. Nobody starts off knowing what great ice cream is. I sure didn't. I used to think that was the apex. The, the top of the heap was Ben & Jerry's. There was nothing better. I, could, I couldn't comprehend that, you know? Lindsay says, what is your favorite pair of shoes in your closet? Well, my... Shoes are not only in my closet, they're also under my bed and in my laundry room. Great. And in my garage. Great. So my favorite pair of shoes. Hmm. That's a tough one. I would have to think about that. There's there's certain shoes that are, are very dear to me for nostalgic reasons, and some that are dear to me because they're rare and they're hard to find in my size, and I was, like, pumped to get them. Um... I have to think about that. That's a tough one. That's really tough. It's like picking a favorite child. Are you ever going to do a live rescoop of Peanut Butter World, Nicholas asked. That is a good idea, actually. 
I, I'm going to have to because it seems like there's not a lot of new releases coming out um, these days beyond Little G and some other stuff. So I will probably go back. And, I, and remember, like, the, the Ice Cream Social isn't always just for reviews because now it's more about interacting with you guys and talking ice cream. So it doesn't really matter what the ice cream is. I'm going to, as long as I enjoy it, and I can talk to you guys. Uh, that's what I thought about the Tonight Dough until I had Little G's, yeah. Little G, she, Grace knows what you guys want, trust me, and she talks to me a lot. I'm like her main consultant, so you rest assured we are, you guys are in good hands when it comes to Little G. I still like half-baked, those brownies, Nicholas says. Yeah, I got no problem with half-baked. I like the half-baked froyo, shit's good. Fish food. Fish food, another good one. The, the base lineup from Ben & Jerry's, like the OGs, those are better than the new flavors, I think, a lot of times. It's like Chubby Hubby, they still, I mean, they made a, fla- made a couple flavors better than Chubby Hubby, but they got rid of them. You know, candy bar pie, uh, peanut butter half-baked, and they get rid of them. It's crazy. Uh, okay, babe, you need to just chill out over there. With all this talk of Little G's, can they be found in supermarkets, convenience stores, etc. in the Northeast? Only in Boston right now. They are only available in Boston area Whole Foods. Jessica says, tell Kelsey to do more videos with you. She's the cutest. Well, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, I would like to do that. It just comes, it, the only time we're going to be able to do it is when we are eating the same ice cream. So if Ample Hills makes it happen, we'll probably both scoop that Gilmore Girls flavor together. Um... Maybe some other things. Maybe we'll see what salt and straw comes with for December. I know there were some flavors that uh, that were pretty good, but I know everybody likes the family, the family uh, situation we got going. Does she do pints too? No, she's more of like Jessica asked if she does pints too. She's more of a skipper. She likes to sample from here and there. But every once in a while, if I get a flavor that that I know she'll like, like Little G, she loves Little G. Little G is her favorite ice cream. So. Uh, when those December flavors come out, you will for sure see us go running a train on the uh, the flavors. I just eat right out of the thing. I wanted to try Mission to Marzipan so bad when I saw it. Karina Gomez says I actually skipped that because I didn't know what marzipan was. I'm such a basic bitch. I was I'd like I would skip ice creams based off ingredients. I'm like, Ooh, what's that? Now I'm like kimchi ice cream. Fuck it, let's go. Is chocolate therapy the most similar thing to Little G's chocolate milk and cookies? They aren't anything alike, unfortunately. I can't. They're nothing alike. They're two completely different ice creams. But chocolate therapy is lit. Chocolate therapy is lit. It's Kelsey's favorite ice cream. Uh, still waiting on her own channel, though. You'll be waiting until you're dead because <laughs> she's not going to do that. I have too much other shit She to has do. too much other shit to do. She's not a loser like me. I basically got through my little G's with my serving being two to three bites of each flavor. Megan says, yeah, Kelsey did that with 12 pints, so for the most part. Do you think Salt and Straw's November season will be better than December's, or should we wait for December's? Preston asked. It is hard for me to say. Last year's December flavors were a mixed bag. There was like a fruitcake flavor. There was a mince pie flavor. They were interesting, and I liked them, but there was nothing like the sweet potato casserole of this month. The sweet potato casserole, believe it or not, the turkey, the turkey flavor, those are both great. The, the turkey, uh, uh, caramel turkey are both really good flavors. That's a 10 and a 9. So if you get that, and the mashed potato and gravy flavor is super fun. This one is, is just whatever. Um, so I don't know. It's up to you. It depends on what you like. If you like sweet potato casserole and you don't order this month, you, you goofed. You goofed. Can't believe you're losing subs over the fun size reviews, Nicholas says. Yeah, I know I joke about it a lot. It does kind of bother me that people don't appreciate my hard work, but I do understand they don't want to see the spam. Don't worry, though. They will come back in spades when I'm done doing it so they can suck my dick. Huh? My dick. Suck it. Uh, what Kobe 9s do you have? I don't have... Do I have Kobe 9s? What is it? Let's see. That's a good question, yo. You didn't give fat bottom any ice cream. I'm going to. I don't even. Why not create a different channel for the fun size reviews if losing subs over it? Sean. Oh, God. Okay. He's biting the spoon. He's going to break his teeth. 
I actually don't have any Kobe nines. Now that I think about it. Um, Sean, it's a good question. Initially, I was like, you know what? Everybody knows me at Powered by Ice Cream. I already have two thousand. I have like twenty one hundred subs. I should just. Uh, I should just keep this channel, you know, and and upload fun size reviews. They'll appreciate that. Guess what? They didn't. I'm t I've gone too far and turned back now. So, fuck them. Uh, Who was asking about chocolate therapy? I don't know. Yeah, Kelsey's currently picking her way through chocolate therapy. God damn, that shit's like Wesley Snipes black. You can't see nothing. It's Batman black. Oh my god, yes, do a drunk ice cream review. I probably will do a drunk review tomorrow night. You just never know what it's going to be. Uh... Who knows? Maybe I will do. I mean, it would have to be a live stream. I couldn't. That would. You know what? You guys keep talking that shit. I will do it. I'll do a drunk ice cream review. It'll be the worst thing you've ever seen. It'll be a car crash. Oh God. I feel like the crispy, Kyrispy creams would suit you, Lindsay says. I love the Kyrie too. I love it. Kelsey hates it. She thinks it's the ugliest shit ever. I have like ten pairs, and I'm gonna buy the Christmas pair because I love Christmas shoes. What are your all-time PRs for squat, bench, and deadlift? Uh, Andrew asks, my all-time squat best squat is 575. My all-time best bench is uh, <coughs> 225. And uh, my all-time best deadlift is 635, sumo. I've also pulled 575 conventional. Do a live stream on Facebook to get your Facebook following up. Would that really help? I don't think it would. It's like I got to really focus my attention on on certain things. It's hard for me to, to focus on Facebook like because – I guess Instagram is my number one. YouTube's cool and everything, but it's really just a way for me to interact with my Instagram followers. Where are you finding the 10% not your father's, Emily asks. Well, first of all, before I answer this question, prepare yourself. I don't, you gotta be ready for it. I find it at ABC Liquor. It is not to be fucked with. I promise you. On days you eat full pints of ice cream, do you do more cardio than you normally would? No. My cardio is whatever my coach prescribes me. Um, and uh, I, I do, I just kind of roll with the punches. Sometimes I do more fun size reviews, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I got. But I always eat the full pint of ice cream when I do reviews. <laughs> he just shits more than he normally would, Dan. That's a good one. Uh, who asked about the IFYM story? Oh, Preston asked. Since apparently... Since I've never tried to make a name out of it, I never wanted to create what I created. It was an accident. I'll tell you, you get, a lot of people don't believe me that I created the acronym IFYM. You can look up a video on YouTube, I think. Alan Aragon uh, actually talks about the origin of it, and he credits me because I made it up. I was on Bodymo.com 2009 or so, and uh, I, was in the, I only posted the nutrition forum because we posted, we were talking about ice cream and shit, obviously. And uh, people kept asking if like a peanut butter was okay to eat on a cut or could I have oatmeal instead of brown rice or whatever. And I was like, all right, guys, for fuck's sake, if it fits your macros, just eat it. IFYM. That's it. Simple, simple, simple. Little did I know that it was going to turn into the phenomenon and, and ultimately, uh, the stupid fucking fad that it turned into. I didn't expect that. And along the way, like any good idea, uh, like religion, you know, people began to interpret it their own, their own ways. And there was different versions of IFYM and like, you know, whatever. And people started fighting about it. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to eat the way that I'm going to eat. And, uh, you guys can eat what you want to eat. As Jay-Z says, uh, what you eat does not make me shit. Is your diet still similar to what you outlined in your ice cream diet video, Andrew asks? Yes. Very similar. Almost the exact same, except now got a lot more fun size reviews. IFYM, IFYM has turned into a dumbass monster, Nicholas says. Yes, which is why I distance myself from it, and I don't. I never try to make a dime off of it. Not once. Never knew you were the one from the story. I hear, heard Alan talk about it before. Yes, Joseph, that is me. So I try to do a lot of different stuff. 
but that was one thing I was not particularly proud of. You guys want to see a French Bulldog eat ice cream? You ready? Here he goes. He loves it. He loves it. Andrew Carswell says, still using IF. Not really. I mean, so here's how it works. I wake up. I drink a monster. Uh, I bullshit. And then we head to the gym. And uh, I might do a couple fun size reviews. I used to just eat some like candy before my workout. But then I was like, why don't I just do a couple fun size reviews for my pre-workout snack? Doesn't that make sense? So I started doing that. And then um, I'll drink a protein shake, eat a, eat a piece of fruit after I train. And then I'll come home and usually have some egg, egg beaters or some chicken and vegetables before I do my cardio. Maybe do another fun size review depending on how hard my cardio is. Today my salt bike cardio was really hard. So I had uh, I reviewed those chocolate covered potato chips. And I'll drink another protein shake. And then I'll eat my dinner which is usually grilled chicken and vegetables or a salad once again. And uh, ice cream. It makes my day when birds make obnoxious noises in your fun size reviews. It's Florida, dude. It's fucking... These birds have no cooth. They are very rude. Yeah, I think all dogs like ice cream. Actually, it's like a fact. Look at, look at this camera. Look at this face. This is Batman. So, I want to get a girl Frenchie name it Harley. New flavors November 25th from... I saw. Did you watch the video? Five Spice Gingerbread. Did my video? Did you look at my story? Or did you read that too? Is that because that's how I read it? Oh and, yeah. And what about in their story? Did you look in their story? Because I don't know if it's five spice gingerbread, but it looked like that. That was just my Yeah, so uh they um Salt and Straw did the exact same flavors for November this year. I'm interested to see if they do the same thing for December. That looks like five spice gingerbread, right? Did you watch that video? I'm watching it right now. 25 degrees in Ohio, man. Fuck that. It seems like you eat a good amount be before cardio. When I eat before cardio, it's always a disaster. Do you feel that affects you negatively in any way? I have to make sure to space it out. Like today, for example, I waited almost two hours in between my meal and uh, cardio because it was a fucking brutal uh, assault bike. Uh, interval session so but yeah i don't i'm not trying to puke some days i have easy cardio and some days i have uh like brutal really hard cardio tuesdays and thursdays i do fasted cardio because it's usually lighter stuff but uh the, the hard stuff man it's tough to do fasted you cannot do a 20k row fasted it just it's not you're gonna die you can't do like today i did 50 minutes of intervals on the assault bike you can't do that you can't do that fasted. You just can't. So I would love to do fasted cardio some days, which I do. I have, if I have to just do a 10K row, I can do that fasted any day. But man, when you got to really push it, uh, it, it really fucks with your blood sugar and you don't want to mess with that. That's why I always see those like cyclists always snacking. All right. So here's the scenario, guys, before I sign off. Uh, I have nothing new for um, reviews next week. So I'm going to have to get creative. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get creative. And no, don't feed him a cookie. I was feeding it to you. Oh. Okay. Just fuck out of here. <laughs> um. So I don't, man, I'm going to have to get creative next week. I might do a lot of rescoops. Hopefully I find that new blue, the new Blue Bunny stuff. Uh, all right, I'm going to answer a couple more questions. I'm, I'm, i got to give Cam a bath. Preston says, were there any books you read when you went into counseling for binge eating disorder? Yes. The Emotional Diet by Bill Cashel is the, um, the book I recommend to everybody. It pretty much changed my life along with therapy. Andrew says, so don't hate me, but I may order those exact same KD what the night that you posted. I go for it. They're a beautiful shoe. Nicholas says, how's the Edie's Butterfinger flavor? The Butterfinger cup flavor, I loved it. Maria says she thought it was gross, but I loved it. I thought it was the best of the candy bar flavors. Did you do this cat? Yeah, Peter's mad at the wind. He's mad. Somebody's going to shoot that bug. 
So guys, uh, I'm like I said, I'm struggling for content. If you guys want me to rescoop something, scoop something new uh, that I haven't reviewed on this channel that I might like, you think? Um, other than that, I, I'm I'm struggling. So. If you guys, like I said, if you have suggestions, I'm completely open to it. In the meantime, I'm working on getting some new ample hills in here. Why don't you uh, use a working cow? Well, I gave away my pumpkin cheesecake. I, was, I gave it to Chris. I so? Chris. I might review working cow. I might scoop some, but we've been, you've been crushing the birthday cakes. So. No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? Uh-uh. But yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll figure something out. I'll be on here eating something. But peanut butter world, now that I think Nicholas suggested it, uh, it's very appetizing to me because it's been a long time since I had it. Hey. He you, really wants some ice cream, please, Dad. I already gave him some. They he needs more. Do some Publix? That's a good idea, too, because I have some sitting in my uh, in my fridge. I know I have something else. You have the prestige flavors, too. Oh, yeah. That dark chocolate mint flavor. Yeah. And we can talk about minter ice cream. So that's a good question. That's good. That's why I keep Kelsey around. She's the brains of this operation. I'm the muscle. Not no, really. No, 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 no. It's not that great. What? The working cow, Chris? That's why I gave it to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I was like, man, this shit is... Oh, Nicholas says the fuck is Prestige. It's a Winn-Dixie brand. And they actually make some pretty decent flavors, believe it or not. What's the other one you have? Like an eggnog? It's a, it's a spiked eggnog. I can't see myself eating more than like a little bowl full. Because it's just... Every eggnog flavor is the same. It's just... You could always do those flavors together, though. It's always eggnog, 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 eggnog. Did you have a good time, Peter? Peter's mad. Okay, well, fuck this dog. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. I love how we're getting, we're averaging like 30 people in these things. It's really cool. Uh, and uh, all those people that are unsubscribing, like I said, can suck my dick. And they can come crawling back to me and then suck my dick. You said suck my dick like six times. Suck. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. This was fun. Thanks for joining me, Jessica. Uh, I wish that I could have lost my shit again on ice creams, but I can't give everything a nine or a ten, so... It is what it is. But I will see you guys next week. And it's going to be surprising. You just don't know what I'm going to review. Uh, hopefully I get the Ample Hills up. I'm fingers crossed on that one. Trying to trying to suck up to them and get some cool stuff. So, uh, Anyways, thanks for joining, guys. See you on Instagram. If you got any suggestions for me, please hit me up. I'm more than willing to accommodate you guys. And uh, see you on the gram. You are.